Hey, hope you guys are doing well. Edgar from Solo Marketer here, and in this video, I want to quickly show you how to set up a cart abandonment sequence on System.io. And for those who don't know, uh, a cart abandonment sequence essentially is a uh, like a set of follow-up emails for people who uh, fill out part of your checkout form. Let's say they're trying to purchase something, they fill out the beginning part, like to give their name and email. And then for whatever reason, they don't fill out the contact, uh, the credit card information. They don't actually complete the purchase. So this is an opportunity to do follow up with them, right? So send like a string of emails, just kind of like from different angles. It's like, hey, you know, just like here's, here's maybe like a 10% coupon or here's the reasons why. Here are the frequently asked questions. You can do like a whatever your format is, right? So that's kind of a good automatic way to re-engage with these people who might still be on a fence and to get a few extra sales on autopilot. So in this case, it is a, a six, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I think it's a six step process, but it's it's, it's not as crazy as it sounds. Uh, so obviously you need a sales page with a, like just, yeah, just a sales page with an order form, a product that's, I assume you have all of that, right? So if you're at this point, if you're asking what a cart abandonment sequence is, you're obviously selling something, right? So you have some sort of a sales page. And the first step for this to work is you need to have a two-step order form as opposed to having it all on one step. You need to have a two-step because first you need to collect the information. And then once they go to the next step, which looks like this, right, where you actually collect the credit card information, in case they don't fill this out, then you can follow up with them on autopilot. So two-step form, you can find it over here. Uh, where was it? Two-step order form over here, right? So that's that. That's vital. That's without this, you're not going to be able to, to kind of follow up with these people, right? So that was the first step. Let's go back. As for step two, you need to go to contacts, tags, and we will need to create two tags. One will be for the people that filled out the step one of the form, uh, like the name and email, whatever, whatever other information you're asking for, whatever is necessary, maybe a phone number, address, whatever. So once they fill that information out, that first step in that two-step checkout form, we need to tag them, right? Just so we know which people to communicate with. And then the second tag will be once the, the product was purchased, right? So something like this, you go to contacts, tags, you click create, and you create two tags, something like this. I did like form fill and purchased, right? It will make sense in a second, like how do we set this up? And But yeah, for now, make sure you have these two tags. So step number three, I think, is you need to be in this funnel and the sales page that we just talked about. You need to click on automation rules. And uh, now we have to add a couple of rules. So one rule will be funnel step form subscribed over here. So that's the once they fill out step one, right? So once they do that, we want to add an action, which is add a tag. And it was test, whatever it was, form fill test save rule. So with this, we mark the people that filled out step one. That's going to be the first tag, right? The form fill. And the second one, add rule is once there's a sale, we want to tag them with like a purchase tag, which will come into play in those automations later. So new sale, that's when they actually purchase the product. They fill out step two, right? They give their credit card information. They complete the purchase. Edit automation rule, add action, add a tag. And it was test something, purchased test, save rule. Step number four, you need to have your campaign. So we want to go to campaigns and we want to set up a cart abandonment sequence. Let's go open up campaigns. So over here, once we're in campaigns, I click create so we can name it cart abandonment. I always have trouble spelling out abandonment. I, uh, Maybe it was correct. Maybe it wasn't, but yeah. And then you can name it as like for the specific sales page as well. You can make the name longer for it to make sense. In this case, just abandonment, cart abandonment. Let's click on save. Let's click on the cart abandonment. Let's actually make my face smaller. So this will be uh, the string of emails that they receive. So let's say they don't purchase. And then in like in 15 minutes, they get an email. Hey, you know, I noticed you didn't finish this. So, so you know, just kind of uh re-engage with them so that would be like a first email and yeah in like 15 minutes so this would be hey need help and or whatever the <clears throat> subject line might be and then whatever 
you write in here, you want to save and test, always test it out first. And then after you did that, save and publish, let's say 15 minutes after, not days, minutes. So let's click activate. Let's exit. <clears throat> let's do a second email, right? You can do like a string of emails over the course of the next 24, 48, 72 hours, whatever your sequence is. And then this would be like another subject line. This is the line that they see in their email inbox next to your sender name, right? To get their attention, to get them to, to open the email. Let's click on save. Again, another email, save and test. Once it's good, save and publish. Let's say, I don't know, six hours after the previous one. Activate. Let's go back. Let's go exit. See, and then it's going to be delay, 15 minutes, six hours, whatever your delays are. It doesn't have to be this, but make sure to put in delay and also mark the email just like I did, right? Uh, just mark the which email should the delay be after. Otherwise, it's just going to be all messed up. So yeah, just make sure to do that. So yeah, basically create your cart abandonment sequence. Might be one, two, three emails, might be more, but yeah, whatever, whatever you have. Put it in there. I don't. This is not like a copywriting masterclass. I'm sure you can find some emails online to to kind of, uh, or from others, from uh, cart abandonment sequences of others. If you like, fill out the first part of their form and then don't fill out the second, and you'll start receiving emails. Especially in e-commerce, this is really popular with some of the bigger sites. So yeah, you can do that just to kind of see what others are doing. Uh, number five, I think we want to uh, create a workflow. So we go to automations workflows. And we want to create a new one. So let's say it's yeah, cart abandonment. I think it's good. Save. Uh, let's just activate it right away, just so I don't forget. Always make sure to activate it. Otherwise, it's just not going to work, right? It needs to be a green check mark. Let's go in. Let's quickly create it. So in this case, it will be uh, what the trigger is. So it was subscribe. Was it subscribe to? I guess we can do, yeah, let's just do a tag at it. That's going to be simpler test. So it's going to be form fill test create. That's the trigger. Once they fill out the form, they're put into this workflow. So then we want to delay it for, I don't know, 15 minutes. So this is the time between the first step and the second step. People still kind of have maybe second thoughts or just kind of think about it or find their credit card, right? It's not always around. So let's give them 15 minutes. And then after 15 minutes, it's most likely that they're not going to purchase, right? They just kind of either forgot, got distracted, or just changed their minds, closed the page, right? That's going to be I don't know, most people probably. So yeah, 15 minute delay. And then it's a decision. So we want to differentiate the people who did purchase, right? And those who didn't purchase. So let's go back, wait 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, decision <clears throat> tag test. So those who have purchased, yes, they have purchased, uh, basically do nothing. No, they haven't purchased. We have to put them into cart in the uh, cart abandonment sequence action, subscribe to campaign cart abandonment, create. So essentially how this workflow translates is they filled out the form, the step one, right? They got tagged. So that immediately kind of that triggers this workflow. So we wait 15 minutes and then we ask the workflow. We kind of basically it's just like decision time. Have they purchased actually, which in this case is have they have they been tagged, which is the same thing as have they made the purchase. That's this tag for this specific purchase. So have they purchased? If yes, all good, everything is done. If no, we take them into this cart abandonment sequence. Um, so yeah, that's step number five, but also we need to make sure, let's say there's five emails and after the second or third cart abandonment email, they do purchase, right? They get tagged with this, with this purchase tag. So we want to take them out. We don't want to keep selling it to them because what's the point, right? It's a one-time purchase. It's like you, like you buy a car, right? And, and then, I don't know, like a day later, this, that, that same dealership tries to sell you the same car again. You know, what's the point? So we need to take them out of this campaign as soon as, or sequence campaign, I, that's the same thing in this context. Uh, we want to take them out immediately. So now let's click on exit and let's go to automations, rules. 
let's create a new rule let's do uh, I think it was new sale let's go check yeah let's go new sale let's check the funnel test test basic sales funnel in this case you have to know this funnel name and the funnel page which was the sales page in this case that's the page name and yeah they made a sale on that page on that two-step form and then what happens once they do it we want to unsubscribe them from a campaign cart abandonment once they purchase take them out of the campaign save rule yes that is just to recap basically uh what we did was yeah this is the funnel so we uh, set up the two-step form it always needs to be two-step because we need to collect our emails first uh, second step was uh, we created the tags right that was the second one uh, the third one was um, we had to create these automations over here for the sales page so two of them one was to tag the form fill the step one and the second one was to tag the purchase fourth one was to create the campaign the the, the cart abandonment sequence which might be the the longest of all these steps uh, fifth was to create a workflow with the yes and no decision right if they haven't purchased we put them in the cart abandonment sequence if they have purchased that's it that's all that, that's it for them and uh, number six is if they did get put in the sequence and they did purchase in the middle of it we want to take them out and uh, if you might have noticed already just to kind of close this off this is for paid accounts because it requires several automations and several tags I think for the free account you were allowed like one of each so you know keep that in mind this is a more advanced technique it's not a, a, a beginner friendly one or, or I guess it's it's kind of a yeah it's it's not a thing that comes with all the basics like with a free account you just kind of want to get going and and just kind of yeah get the ball rolling this is more just to kind of like optimize and, and and maximize your sales but it's a really good tactic and then you definitely should check this out later down the line if you have a paid account and yeah that's it for this one uh if there's some freebies down below if you're interested uh, from system.io there was one uh, it was an email guide which was 13 lessons i've learned from sending my first i don't remember how many thousand emails on, on system.io I think it says like 40 something thousand now it's like way more but it was it's still the rules are all the same so go check that out like 13 of my uh, of my rules that i have for email marketing on system and also there's some funnel templates uh, there, i think there's a sales template uh, a lead generation template there's all kinds of like this sales page that you saw there's probably templates for that below so go check those out they don't cost anything and then and uh, they're one click downloads basically just yeah go claim them make them your own and then just yeah have fun with them uh and yeah that's pretty much it for this one make sure to comment below subscribe all that youtube stuff and and yeah if you if, if you have any questions but if you don't um i will see you in the next video bye